I'm always pretty good about this. I do this camera, so I like against her forehead almost. And she's still working okay. <laughs> This is being filled with a little Kodak Easy Share C180 cheapo camera. So I'm kind of curious on how it will come out. It might not even be something I can put up. But, uh, I'll probably put it up no matter what because I think the pictures at the end of, uh, of what the marbles are will look pretty nice. All of my software I use to uh, do the cameras and the movies and produce them at all freebies on the internet and I do have links to some down there that I'm using actually yeah we've got a pretty nice photo editor that you can use too if you want to join movies together they don't have a lot to do with transitions and that but it's a uh, it's a nice program for us, considering the fact it's a free ride. Nice one, nice one, nice one, yep. Again, I hope my pictures can show these colors better. Oh, this will do sound too, so you can squeal when you get a good one. <laughs> this is making beautiful little tags. And you can get a couple little tags out of one. Beautiful little tag. And the picture that this video I'm sure is not gonna show this as neat as they come out. To show the backside. Can you lay the backside on? Yeah, yeah, like oh not in the water, not in the water. It's too too pretty to do that. There, okay, there's the back side. I'm not sure how they'll come out. We'll take pictures, I'll put you into the video. Okay. Another one there, hon. These are nice these are nice. That's nice little tags. You pick up more than one off the paper. It's a little thin coat on there, but they come out pretty. Nice. Again, I'll do pictures at the end of these. This is an excellent way to learn how to do this because you've got such small little items you're using you're not worried about going through big sheets of paper a lot of paint or nothing it's just a nice way to play with making little designs Oh, what pretty little tags. What pretty little tags. This is getting that little water line that forms at the very bottom so it doesn't have water line at the bottom. It is nice looking. Nice looking. Yeah. I'd be like getting pictures at the end. This is a cute little video, huh? Now these tags were treated with alum, 
They're ordinary little tags, but they're put in the alum, and the alum does help a lot in getting the paint to stick. Use just a little tiny bit of paint and it floats on top in a real, real thin layer. That's one thing we found out about this marbling is don't put that paint on too thick. Let it go real thin. It's much easier to control how it goes on the paper and it not running off. The big problem we had for a while was the paint wanting to run off because we're using too much paint. Poor cute little tags. I can't get over it. I'm kind of astounded to tell the truth how beautiful these tags are coming out. Mara's pretty delicate with this too. She touches the brush just enough the bottom of the of the paint hanging down touches the water. She doesn't stick the brush in it at all. And notice that she goes a little fast with it when she's going. That's because when she stops in the middle it will swirl. It gives a little more design. If you do slow, you can get a nice design, but it doesn't have that, that swirly look. Uh, it is, that's, a, that's still pretty. Jeez, it's amazing. I wish I had a scanner. My camera doesn't quite do justice to anything that we're doing like this, as far as a picture of it. I think a scanner is going to be on the market for the next, maybe the next month. Next month. And I hear Myra thinking, scanner. She says, your playing is so expensive, Jake. <laughs> but it's not really to the cost over here it is but this is really cost nothing to play this these little paints how much are they paint 13 pesos a piece Thank a quarter you. a piece yeah and you can do a lot lot of marbles with those uh, little tiny paints Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I think you got it. See the ox doll in the background there? If you get raw ox doll, remember to put alcohol in it. Because if you don't, that stuff gets smelling rough really quick. If you put a little bit of alcohol in it, it preserves it. And uh, I don't even know how long it lasts. I've had some. It's got the alcohol in it that's over a month old without being refrigerated or anything that's really good. So, it could be, I don't know, a little tiny one.
Is he using up the floating, the leftover floating up on top to do it? That little tiny, that little thin stuff that floats on top does a very good job to marble. Sometimes these paints spread so thin that when you're looking, don't even believe you'll get a color out of it. Nice tags. Yeah. All right. Good. 